What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here and if you don't know this about me by now, I have a libido the size of a fucking planet. So when I need to go fap, aka masturbate, aka jerk off, aka choke my chicken, there's a dedicated there's a dedicated list of websites that I use. X videos, Pornhub. We got the GIF portion of 4chan, however you pronounce it. We have Reality Kings seehersquirt.com, a whole variety of websites. And when I need to look at some, some hentai, aka some animu, some mango, some doujin, I have a dedicated platform of sites as well too. The H-board on 4chan and Faku. Faku, Faku, Faku. How things have changed. God damn it. Let's go into this, all right? All of that was to say this. Today, in fact, only about an hour ago, Faku announced that they would no longer be providing free content, free doujin, and you'll have to pay to jerk off on Faku. <laughs> it's, it's a surprising message to say the least. If you're not aware of what Faku is, they're basically a website which provide doujin for you to read for free. And they did offer premium content a few months ago. They had Faku books and they had a Faku paid subscription where you can pay, I think $10 a month or $12 a month and have access to specially translated manga and well, I shouldn't call it manga, but specially translated doujin, which are also uncensored and from reputable artists in the community. So you kind of get your bang for your buck in a way if you really do indulge into hentai that much. And Faku now is announcing that no more free stuff. Now, usually the main way that these websites are able to provide this content for free is they rely on the advertisements that are around the website. And Faku never really went too hard on the ads before, although they, they definitely were there, but I'm guessing that times have just gotten to the point where things are a little bit too expensive for them to maintain their cost, or maybe there's some other reason for this whole thing. Let's take a look at exactly what they said. So today we officially removed all scanlations from Faku, and going forward, we will have entirely licensed material in collab with artists. They also said, We know a lot of our users will be disappointed, but this is an important step that we are proud to make. We hope that you choose to support us. Even though I don't know the exact specifics, apparently with the books and the subscription service, Faku was able to compensate the artist to an extent to where they can have some sort, some sort of income alongside with whatever the hell else they do in real life. I mean, but this cannot be seen as a bad move because obviously they're giving support to an industry which desperately needs it. But doing so in exchange for totally getting rid of your free material, the free content that got you to where you are in the first place, it is subject to a little bit of questioning, a little bit of a critique's eye. There's a lot of people who I've been talking to about this subject, um, a lot of people that I talk to on 4chan, and they're all saying, hey, well, you know what? I didn't use Faku anymore anyways. I use Purin, I use Exhente. Um, other websites like that too, you know, Sad Panda and whatnot. And it seemed like I kind of, I mean, I don't know, I can't really say this for a fact, but it did seem like I fell in the minority of people who still use Faku. But you know, it's 4chan. What, what the hell else? What the hell can you take as facts from 4chan? But um, I, I'm not sure what you guys use. Let me know in the comments in terms of your uh, doujin ingestion. But me, it was mainly Faku and 4chan. So while it is admirable that they are attempting to support artists in a bigger way, a lot of their audience is still free users, and myself, I was one of them as well. Back in high school when I first discovered Faku, you, you damn bet your ass I didn't have any money to pay for no subscription service and no book service, and I think the books are around $10 a piece themselves. They have a lot of great material on the books, and that just, that by the way, that can't be debated at all. Faku books are amazing. They have some really high quality work in there from some really good artists, and all uncensored. That, that's a big plus in my opinion. I mean, you know, you got to see that Nakadashi in full quality, my boy. <laughs> them, them, them cream pies be looking off the chain, yo. But like, I, like I've been trying to say, free material is what Faku was known for back in the day and known for up until yesterday, I suppose. So I can't help but wonder, are they going to totally box out a big part of their audience due to the, a move like this? Supporting the artist, like I said, is a great thing. But why make your entire website subscription model only it seems a little bit suspect to me i feel like they could potentially be reaching far too deep into this i mean i don't know it, like like get rid, getting rid of free material i mean i i understand if they wanted to add a premium model to their service then that's perfectly fine in my book i mean why not there are people that were signed up for the premium service there are people e even myself i actually used their premium service for a little bit i bought a couple of their books really good stuff like I said but to totally cut off the free community 
I don't think that's the best move, but that's just my opinion. And of course, you guys know, when it comes to something like this, I had to ask you dudes. So I put out a question on Twitter a little bit, uh, 14 minutes ago, and I asked you guys, um, so Faku removed all their free doujin material from their site, and they require a paid subscription to view them in support of the artist. And I wanted to know what you guys think about this whole thing. So let's see. So we have Coastward here saying, Faku, better content, better quality, better service. Indeed. Um, and then Shofu says, less people on their website. Indeed. This is what I'm saying, man. This is what I'm saying. Your audience is free for the most part. I mean, I understand. Maybe they're trying to, to ignite some kind of interest in their premium books. So that way they can get more people to, to pay more money for these products. But I mean, you're not going to do it by forcing it on people by making your website entirely premium only. And it's crazy. I mean, I can't show you guys the website right now, obviously, because I'll get my channel shut down. But everything on their website now, even if it was a free doujin from in the past, to view it now, you have to be subscribed to Faku. Let's take a look at some more comments. So we have my boy Strongbad in here saying fuck to this whole thing. Um, we have Cherubi Knight saying if you're good at something, never do it for free. You gotta survive somehow. Understandable, but maybe just add more advertisements on the website. Or maybe make it clear that you would like more people to contribute. Sort of like how Wikipedia does. I would be, to be honest with you, considering how much service I've gotten out of Faku throughout the years, if I did have the money and they did come up with a campaign that said, hey, you know, we need to support the bills, we need to support the artist in order for you guys to keep receiving this amazing Faku material, um, if you can make a contribution, that would be great. I would sign up for it, definitely. I mean, I, wouldn't, I don't know how much I would be able to give, but I would give them something, you know? You, you, I don't feel like this is the best move. Locking out your entire user base, or almost all of your entire user base, not smart. And then we have um, pa Faku, <laughs> Scythe the Gang saying, Faku paid subscriptions equals a flaccid dick in more ways than one, my boy. In more ways than one. My, my, shit, my shit is limp right now, my boy. Uh, we got my boy Joshua saying, well, oh shit, really? Well, I don't use Faku too much, so I don't mind. I have my sauces. No problem at all there, man. Share some of that shit with me. Um, Luge says, you've got to be fucking with me. Um, ABIPSD says, wow. Uh, we have Lolly Braxton, my boy CJ saying, I already gave up with them when they removed all of their lolly content. Purin Hentai is down as well, so now all is lost. Whatever the hell you're into, I suppose, but that is something that Faku did get a lot of shade for before as well, too. The fact that they did take down certain categories of their doujin for being too, I don't know, I guess, aberrant for certain people. I know that they did get some heat for getting rid of certain categories of their doujin. Uh, we have Gnome saying, just go on e-hentai instead for now, I suppose. Perhaps try and access to X Hentai. That's all I know though, Sad Panda. Um, is Purin still up? And then we have, um, I don't even know what this is, so I'm neutral. <laughs> this guy's probably confused. Like, what the hell's going on? And he said, like, Are we really doing this? <laughs> and then, um, Pure. How do you say this? Purin? Purin? I guess, I guess, Purin? Purin? Um, we have Karim, Karim saying, First, they deleted a lot of tags. Later, beginning to spam his subscription. And now, this, I better go to N Hentai. And then um, President C4 says, my initial reaction, whatever. I only go to Faku like twice a year. <laughs> As you can see, he's devastated. He's fucking devastated. We got no um, Akrox saying, I wouldn't be surprised if it was because of people using ad block. This is what happens when no money comes. And then um, no ad revenue equals no money equals no server host being paid equals no servers equals no websites or forced subscriptions. Yeah understandable i mean adblock is running rampant nowadays but like i said i feel like cutting off the entire free base is just a bad move overall but anyways sounds interesting may the change may change the landscape of people using the service i understand that flips table horrible business plan leave some okay ones free to entice people to buy a sub that's a very good point from brasher a lot of their content is great overall whether it's free or not so use the free content the premium content that you provide naturally to people to be able to entice them to get the paid subscription and the paid service i feel like is great because it gives you like a new um doujin reader which is a lot more pleasant to use than the regular one like you can make it full screen um the scrolling is really smooth and it, overall it's great um let me see i saw that shit today too sucks anyways guys this is a subject that I want to see talked about in the comments. I'll be down there as well, too. Hopefully, we can get more details about this whole Faku change, about this whole Faku sellout thing. Um, I would love, if possible, to potentially have a representative of Faku come onto this channel and potentially discuss the subject with me. I'm really interested in it, and I think a lot of people here are as well, too, considering the amount of perverts that watch me. <laughs> but anyways, guys, 
What do you think about this whole thing? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. Happy fapping. But I know a lot of you ain't going to be doing it at Faku no more after this.